In the final days of the campaign, a battleground blitz. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe that people who disagree with me are the enemy. This is all you need to know. Kamala broke it, and we will fix it, and we're going to fix it fast. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris with dueling rallies in Milwaukee Friday spent the weekend making stops in Georgia and North Carolina with signs of worry there for the Trump team. When you're winning by a lot, you can still lose by a little, and we can't take a chance of losing the great state of North Carolina. An average of recent polls showing Trump ahead in North Carolina and Arizona by four, but down in Wisconsin and Nevada. Still, no state appears to matter more than Pennsylvania with its 19 electoral votes. I see my mom and what she did for me. I feel as though <laughs> if it's anything like the woman in my family, it's going to be sharp. What issues are most important to you when you're going to go to the polls on Tuesday? Uh, women's rights, the living, the groceries. This year was bad. Like, price of groceries was ridiculous. Milk was crazy. In Michigan, home to the largest Arab population in the country, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib urged supporters to vote. Don't underestimate the power you all have. Still, she remains one of the few Democrats who has not endorsed Harris, with fears that anger over the Biden administration's support for Israel and its war in Gaza could cost Kamala Harris the state as she walks a fine line, trying to win them over, as well as Jewish voters in Pennsylvania. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself. A final push from the candidates as voters, especially in swing states, weigh their choices. Half the people I know are on one side, the other half on the other side, and they're all good people. So I hope the best person wins, because I'm not sure who it is. Most people, on the other hand, do know who they want. 75 million Americans have already voted early. That's about half as many people who voted four years ago. I'm Christine Frizzell for the National News Desk.